and welcome to my new video. Uh, this is one where I'm going to try and build a double bed with storage units underneath. Uh, the extension bit is almost finished so I'm ready for building now. Uh, what I'm going to do at the moment is just going to build a framework. I'll try and walk you through that best I can. I've got my plans already so hopefully the plans are right and we'll go from there. Uh, as I'll show you in a minute I'm just cutting all the lengths of wood down to the size I need, uh, then I'm going to uh, pocket all them, pocket all them together so I've got like a framework, because obviously at the moment until I get the flooring down, the flooring goes down tomorrow, and then the carpet in the day after, until then I can't really build the bed actually in situ, so I'm going to build all the framework already, just so I can basically fasten it together. So, there it goes, and hope you enjoy the video. So here I am at the moment, I say I'll just excuse the garden because while the building work is still on the go, it is still a building site. So uh, as you see, got all the lens of wood and uh, done already just to cut down. So I'm just going to cut them all down now, get them all ready, all lined up, make sure the right sizes and then I will put it on together. See, I just set up a simple jig, and uh, I'm not a big woodworker, so I don't have like a little table. So, just set up a simple little jig just so I can cut all my lengths the same length. Uh, do these do any guys that don't know what they're doing? Basically, a bit of wood that slides along, block in the place that you want it to be. That's the measurement. Dead easy. Okay. So I've cut the bits of wood for a frame for either side of the bed. Uh, I have not cut the height pieces for the middle bit of the bed because obviously that's going to be a little bit lower. By the time I get the bed lats in uh, it needs to be a bit shorter. I do know what length these need to be but I'm playing on the safe side. I'm making the outside frame first and that way I know definite once I put the slats in exactly what height I need them at. So, as you can see, I've got a very basic Craig jig. Uh, so, it's going to take me a while to do this. Uh, basically, I've got to put it on, uh, clamp it down, and do each pocket hole individually. So, as you can see, I've got <coughs> 12 little bits. So, that's four pocket holes per bit. So, that's going to be 48 little pocket holes. So, bear with me, I'll come back to you when that bit's done, then we'll frame it up and we'll see where we go. All the pieces to a size now, pocket hold, all the bits I need to pocket hold. I'm now, as you can see, just starting to frame up. So I'm just basically doing a frame, pocket holding it, making sure nice and square and secure. Uh, to get me holes for my drawers the right size, I've actually, as you can see down there, I've had like a template. So that template is the size. I needed all the length I needed. Rather than measuring with a tape measure and a pencil, always get it wrong. Just cut yourself a little template like that. It's dead easy. Uh, just the size you want, or you just slot it in and everything will be the same size every time. Okay, hopefully I'll get this framed up and I'll see you in a minute. Uh, framework finished. That's, that's basically it. Four long pieces, four short pieces. Dead simple, really easy to do. Uh, that's going to give them a, a good sanding down, make sure enough rough edges, that sort of thing. Then I'm going to see what edges I need to route. So obviously I'm going to have a mattress sitting inside, so I don't want the sharp edges that the mattress sits on. So I'm going to route along a couple of the edges, just make sure it's nice and smooth. And that should be it for today. And tomorrow, come to put it all together and start setting up for the drawers. Okay, right, uh, I've skipped a little bit at the moment. Last time I talked to you, I'd cut all the uh, lengths of the timber and I was starting to put them together. Well, now I've got them together. So as you see, I'll try and show you. Uh, put it all together. I've included, the cross, I've put some cross trims in as well support the back of the runners for the drawers. So all I'm going to do today now is actually build the runners. So looking 
quite good so far. There's a quick run round of a bed. Uh, so I'll just flip the camera around. So we have on the left hand side of the bed a small drawer at the top, two large drawers on the bottom, uh, and then coming around, I'm going to wood of uh, panels at the bottom there so the panels don't show. You know, make it a nice floor. Uh, foot base, so you're on the right hand side, two large drawers with a little drawer at the top. So yeah, so like I say, all I'm going to do now, I say a little finishing touches and things like that to come off and that. Apart from that, we're almost done, just for drawers to go in. So I'm going to get them done today and I'll have a finished bed. Jumps pretty much to the end of the video now. What I've done, obviously the beds will be put together and built the drawers and see the drawers are all fitted in this side and this side. All I've got left to do now on that is put the fronts on the drawers so that it blends in and looks quite nice. Obviously I don't want that sort of drawer sticking out. So I'll put some fronts on it tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow. Get the end panels on. That'll be it. Let's see. Mattress is on. It's lovely. Very happy with that job. So I will put some photos on the end of the finished products. If not a short video, I'll talk to you soon. We finished all but a headboard, but that's, that's something will come later. And see if I take a top down view of it, there is six well four very large drawers and two smaller drawers at the top. Uh, so yes yeah, so there's lots and lots of storage space. Uh, just finished off to tidy up the front just by putting these panels on the front. Again, easy to open. So for now, full depth drawers, 20 centimetre drawers, so lots and lots of storage space in there. I mean yeah, that's loads of space. Uh, so yeah, just put the fronts on them and just finished off the end bit. I put a full sheet across the end there. So all case do we now? Put a mattress on, get it made up, and it's ready to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, there will be more videos coming. My next project is a wardrobe which will be going in this space here. As you can see, I've already got a rails ready. I've just now got to get the wood to build it with. I've got a kit to build the sliding doors. So yeah, so that is what's coming next. So please like, subscribe and see you next video.